What's up guys, Hoodlum2002 here with another Diecast review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Austin Dillon's 2017 Coca-Cola 600 uh, race win diecast. But before we get into that, because this is the authentic version, you have it came with a uh, stat card. So on the card you got a picture of Austin Dillon holding a uh, 124 of his 2017 uh Holding a 124 diecast of his 2017 car, sorry. You got race version, Austin Dillon, Charlotte Motor Speedway, Coca-Cola 600 winner, Concord, North Carolina, May 28th, 2017. In the back, again, got another race version uh, picture. Uh, you can kind of see it, but like printed in the background is like uh, Austin Dillon and his crew. Hoisting him up in front of his car. It's kind of hard to see, but anyway. Over here, you got Charlotte Motor Speedway. You got your race stats right there. This was, in fact, Austin Dillon's first uh, NASCAR Cup career win. And it was the first time for the number three car to be back in victory lane since Dale Sr. put the three in victory lane at Talladega in the year of 2000. So... Basically, 17 years for the three to get back into victory lane. Anyway, let's get down to sponsors. So, on the hood, you have Dow. On the front, you have the number three. You got Chevrolet SS, Chevy, Richard Childress Racing, or the RCR logo. Zoom in here so y'all can see this better. Going down the side, you have Moog, Male, Comp, Edelbrock, and Sunoco. Uh, again, going down the side here, you have Goodyear, 3M, Mechanics Wear, Sherwin Williams, Flowmasters, IR. There's a little logo right here to the left of, um, or to the right of Mechanics Wear, but I don't know what it is. Got the NASCAR Salutes logo and as always, for the Coca-Cola 600, Goodyear always puts a, a little phrase right here on the tire. In 2017, it said, Support Troops. Uh, I think it says, Honor and Remember uh, for this year, 2019. So that's pretty much all I'll say right there. Down here on the quarter panel, you have AAA, Dow, American Ethanol, and Ream. On the C post, you have Realtree. You got the Realtree logo right there next to the R. On the B post, you got Coca-Cola, Sherwin-Williams, Bosch. I think that's Lucas Oil, but I'm really not 100% sure at all. On the name reel, you got the good old American flag. You got the Twitter logo with uh, Austin Dillon's Twitter handle, Austin Dillon 3. Next to the 3, I don't know if it's hard to see, but you got the Ace of Spades logo. Because uh, I think someone in his family gave him the nickname the Ace. And then next to the Ace logo, you have a number. I don't know what this is for, but you have a number 69 with a American flag uh, pattern. And then you have the green winner sticker for Austin Dillon winning this race. I'm going to stay a little bit zoomed in. On the back here, you have Chevy, Coca-Cola, SS. Got the three logo again right there. Don't know how to pro that, pronounce that sponsor, and I'm not going to attempt to. You got Coca-Cola again there on the deck lid. You have Dow right there on the roof. You have three logos right here. I don't know what they are. I don't know if this one in the middle is uh, Coca-Cola. I really don't know. And then, obviously, same stuff down the right side of the race car so now let's get to the most interesting part of this video and that is the race damage as you can already tell this is a very dark car so any like rubber or anything that's probably on like the front of the car is going to be kind of hard difficult to see but on the hood here you do have a bit of confetti in the shape of a uh, coca-cola bottles that goes uh Pretty nifty that a car with Coca-Cola sponsor, not like, Coca-Cola isn't like the main sponsor of this car, it's obviously Dow, but nice to see a car with Coca-Cola on the car, 
uh, when the Coca-Cola 600. So yeah, you got some confetti right there by the D. You got a lot of confetti over around here by the uh, W. You got three right here on the hood flaps. You got one right there on the, on the grill. You got some grill damage right here a little bit. You got like you can see the little holes for the grill opening. Maybe some like tape right here. It's really hard to see, but if you look at the three right here, it does look like there is some rubber on the front of this car, but it's just really difficult to try and point out what's debris and like what's part of the design. Right here, also by some of the contingencies, you can see some uh, rubber. I really do like this design though. Like this was probably one of the best looking cars on the track. Like I like how it's an old wooden pattern with the American flag going down the side and all that. But talk about more of that in a minute. Uh, going down the side here, you again with this being a dark colored car, you really cannot tell what's damaged and what's part of the pattern. Like like. Uh, where like white stripes would be, you'd expect like, oh, they were completely white during the race and it's just all covered up in like rubber or something. No, that's literally part of the wood pattern design. But you do have a little bit of some rubber that you can clearly see on the white section of the three right there. Going down the side here, you do have some confetti. You got one right here by the Dow logo. You got a gold one right there. You got a few... I'm trying to work with the brightness here. You got a few pieces of confetti right there by the American Ethanol logo. You got another piece of confetti right here where the fuel can goes. You got some confetti right here by the Real Tree logo. On the back bumper, a lot of confetti. You got it like all lined up down here. A lot of confetti. Deck lid is probably the area with the most amount of confetti. You can barely read Coca-Cola right there. A lot of confetti on the deck lid of this car, which is where most of this confetti is. You got some more confetti over here by the Dow logo. One right there by the tail light. You do have a little bit of confetti right here by the uh, Dow logo right there on the roof. You got some pieces of confetti right there. Got a little bit, you got two pieces of gold confetti right there on the three. You got a bunch of red right there. Going down this side right here again, more confetti. Still not a whole lot of rubber buildup. I can see maybe something right here by the American Ethanol logo. Got some rubber right there on the bottom part of the three. Got some more rubber right there on the contingencies right there. Barely any confetti on like the front side of this car right here. Really mostly all of it's just over here on the Dow logo, but uh, that's all there is for race damage. But um, I get, I really do like the paint scheme on this car. Like most paint scheme most patriotic paint schemes obviously uh you want a whole lot of red white and blue on the car but i really think richard childress racing really nailed it with this car like i like how they got a bit of the american flag right here on the roof i think it's kind of hard to see but you can somewhat see like the stars again you got the american flag right there on the side Again, right there. I believe this is also a matte uh, finished car. Like it wasn't like a metallic car. It was like a matte finished car. Maybe lower the brightness down a little bit. It's getting too light in here. But uh, really like this car. Again, Austin Dillon won this race on fuel mileage. Because uh, as it says here on the stat card, he only led two laps. He led, uh, he led the lap coming to, uh, 
I don't know what lap it was. I can't remember what lap it was, but uh, let me focus in on the car here. But uh, Jimmy Johnson and Austin Dillon were the ones, I believe, they were the two closest to making it to the finish. Obviously, I think going down the back stretch with, I believe, two to go. Or was it three to go? I really don't even remember. But going down the back stretch, Jimmy Johnson ran out of fuel. He had to pit, get fuel. Austin Dillon, the uh, ace, managed to save enough gas and beat Kyle Busch, who uh, passed up Truex uh, due to maybe Truex running a little bit harder, trying to catch up to Austin Dillon, and then Truex ran his tires down, which allowed Kyle Busch to pass Martin Truex, uh, but uh, sadly... Austin Dillon didn't uh, run out of fuel, and Kyle Busch wasn't able to catch him. So, uh, good strategy by uh, Austin Dillon and uh, his pit crew and his whole entire team. It was nice to see the three car get back to victory lane after a long time. Austin Dillon would go on in 2018 to win the Daytona 500, 20 years after Dale Earnhardt won it. So, uh, I don't think many drivers can say that their first two wins were uh, probably two of NASCAR's biggest races. Something else uh, that came out from the uh, Coca-Cola 600 race was um, uh, Kyle Busch was not happy. If y'all look at me, if y'all y'all can probably find a video of it, but uh. He had a post-race interview and he was just aggravated. Like, literally just said... He literally only said, like, one line. It was hilarious. He was like, I'm not surprised about anything. Congratulations. Drops the mic. And uh, just walks out. So, um... I mean, I understand it. Losing to a guy who... Would manage to save enough fuel. I mean, you don't want that to happen to you, but it is what it is. I was happy to see Austin Dillon win this race in this cool looking uh, Patriotic card. Got the number three again. Number three. Back to victory lane. He did it for Dale. But yeah. Really cool car. Really cool car. But uh, as always, that's uh, pretty much all there is to say about this car. Uh, we, I will have another first-time winner's review for next week for Pocono. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everyone has a great Memorial Day weekend. And I hope everyone has a good Memorial Day on Monday. Uh, I would like to thank all the... Uh, soldiers who have who have served and who are currently serving in the military and all that so uh, thank you for uh protecting this wonderful country we call america and uh that's it for this review so i will see you guys next week